Alright, so this is where we have Corvus Ghost and Omega Sentinel bands. Alright, so Boss Island Sasquatch. Uh, S99, Quicksilver, Void. I mean, it's a rank 2 Sasquatch, a big health pool, so you're going to be testing a lot of those science options to see how they go, and then picking your favorite one, or most available one. Uh, Mangog, you've got Scorp, you've got... S99, Quicksilver, you've got Fury, you've got Apocalypse, you've got Mole Man. Apocalypse, you've got Nimrod. Um, can probably get away with Infamous Doom as well. Uh, Absorbing Man, uh, Scorpion, and S99. Magneto, uh, Nimrod, or you could use a Tactic Champ. Um, probably one of the uh, mutant ones, like Rogue or sunspot since most of the metal ones are not immune um since omega sentinel is banned korg can probably go with kingpin or crossbones or x yeah crossbones uh and then bishop um could go with archangel you can go with uh cap sam you can go with infamous doom uh, one through three on the way out infamous doom gallon or hulkling path one uh Modok, um, you've got Magneto, and you've got Shang-Chi, and then for Sauron, you've got Nimrod, or you could use Civil Warrior, um, since he'll remove, he's tactic, and buff immune, buffet immune. Um, path 2, Mephisto, you've got S99 and Titania, or Carl, and then for uh, Domino, you've got Infamous Doom, you've got Nebula, you've got Nimrod, and then for path three, Toad, you've got Nimrod. Um, could also use uh, any, really, of the tech champs that are armor burn to remove the prowess. Four through six on the way out, Scorp, you've got Mole Man, you've got um, Crossbones, you've got Fury, although I don't prefer Fury. And then Thing on the way in, Overseer, uh, Civil Warrior, any buffet immune as long as you pay attention to Rock Stacks, so Gallon. Um, path 4, Spam, you've got Mole Man and Fury. And then for Havoc, uh, Doc Ock or Warlock. Path 5, Nova, you've got Doom, you've got Carl. And then for Kitty Pride, you've got Nimrod or an Armor Burn Champ, so Cap Sam, any of those really. Um, Path six, spot, you've got Apocalypse, you've got Fury, you've got Jabari Panther, and then for Tiger, you can also use Apocalypse, or you can use any of your science counters, so Mr. Negative, Quicksilver, or S99. And then seven through nine on the way out, Hulkling, you've Rintra and Wiccan. Um, on the way in, Doom, you've got Apocalypse with a Petrify, or you've got Magneto. Uh, path seven, the whole thing can be taken with uh, an armor burn uh, mutant champ. So you can probably get away with Sunspot and Rogue and just slap on a white Magneto pre-fight. Uh, or you could just use white Magneto or Apocalypse for that. Uh, and then Path 8, um, Juggernaut, any of the science options, S99, Titania. And then for Cersei, Wiccan, or uh, Rindraw. And then Path 9, the whole thing can be taken with the tag team of Titania and Carl, Titania for uh, Spidey, and then Carl for Weapon X, or you can go with Ant-Man or Cassie for Spidey, and then uh, Warlock or Nimrod for Weapon X. Looking back at section two, one through three on the way in, Fury, Archangel, Omega Red, or Apocalypse, Zemo, um, probably go with Archangel, or probably go with uh, Omega Red or um, Apocalypse, and then Maw, um, slap on an Odin Shock, and you can probably take that with uh, Overseer or use S99 and hit into block, or Cassie or Ant-Man kind of work off of that with the Shock Immune. Uh, one through three in section one on the way out, Mojo, uh, S99 or Titania will work there. Path one, Terax is a Carl fight all day, um, can also use Dragon Man. And then for um, Mole Man, Apocalypse, or Omega Red. Um, path 2, Man-Thing, you have Titanium, S99, K-99, 
Killmonger. You've got CGR, Omega Red, and then Wong on path three. You've got Titania or S99. Four through six on the way out, Chavez. You've got Doom, Quicksilver, Mr. Negative. Uh, path four, Void, Shang-Chi, Mole Man, or Fury. Path five, JJ. You can go with Jabari Panther or uh, Valkyrie. Ugh. And then uh, Black Cat, you've got Omega Red and Apocalypse. And then Long Shot, S99, um, Mr. Negative, Quicksilver, uh, Titania, really any of those. Seven through nine on the way out, Penny. Um, Penny, you can get away with Rolk. You can also use... Um, who am I blanking on here? That's a cosmic. Oh, uh, you can use uh, Hulkling. Um, and then path uh, seven, whole thing can be Apocalypse or Omega Red. And then path eight there, uh, Mordo. Uh, plenty of options for him. You can use Doom. You can use any of the science options, S99, Titania. And then path nine, the whole thing can be done with Shang-Chi. You can do the whole thing with Rolk. Um, or you could do the whole thing with CGR as well. So that does it for defense. Let's take a look at attack. All right, so War 2 is against our buddy Alliance for Loki. So shout out to B, Andrew, Yusafa, PWF, um, Clown, and the rest of for Loki. Today I'm taking in Warlock, Quicksilver, and Fury. I've got Path 4 in Section 1 and Path 4 in Section 2, and a couple shared fights. So, War was pretty simple for me. I did have one super scary fight, uh, and I'll get to that when we get to it. whole game plan here was just to parry heavy to keep debuffs off as much as possible so that we don't worry about insult to injury. Uh, there are a few times I throw full combos, but with a uh, long-distance relationship, that can be kind of a bad idea. And then I'm sticking to special ones to help cycle our combo meter on top of get those knockdowns in here and there. So insult or injury kicks off with just that heal block. We instead heavy retaliate is heavy to get rid of debuffs. And then there I do a combo. So like I said, uh, focus more on parry heavy here. Taking advantage of the fury from the node. Uh, and then I have max, I have deep wounds maxed like I normally do, so it did not require any mastery changes here for Fury. So this is a pretty easy fight. Um, it's really pretty much pretty easy for anyone of the skill options that deal with a lot of shrugging or cleansing. Um, preferably the shruggers. Uh, Jabari will not be able to get rid of that heal block at the start, but down goes Void with Fury pretty easily. Next fight was super excited about this one. Um, Quicksilver, only fight for the war. I consider him a very hard counter for Chavez. And then especially for this node, the only thing not working for him here is that protection from ebb and flow knockdown. However, mine is a rank five. And when we're boosted, that damage reduction doesn't matter. So here, uh, what makes Quicksilver a hard counter to Chavez is placing that wither pretty easily with just dexing attacks. So if this Chavez decides to just heavy like that there, it's not a concern that she starts opening dimensions. It just means a dex like that is going to close that dimension. And we have a Chavez that will not gain power from her special ones. Um, that means no unblockable special two chance. And I invuln here just in case I have to push her to special three. Um, the other thing that makes... Quicksilver, really nice for this node is that aggressive prowess. A 13 hit combo when you finish out a full combo get removes that build up pretty easily. So there's our first special two. Does a big chunk of damage. We eat this special one, no big deal. We've got a white Magneto pre-fight so we can stun while she's debuff immune. And then while we've got this fury, we're taking off chunks. And we're not even going to get to another special two or detonate whiplash here. It's just going to end in the next combo. She throws a last-ditch last effort heavy to no avail. So move on. Path 4 in Section 2. Spam here. Uh, again, another very easy fight for Fury. Um, here it's really... I'm, I'm not going to hold on to the special one because I don't want to deal with him building his spider sense 
and then evading later on if I don't have enough tactical charges. I'm just going to throw the special one when I have it. And what I'm going to hope happens is that he is willing to throw special ones himself. And we just heavy retaliate those special ones, which is pretty easy to do. So we throw the special one here right away. Spam is pretty close to 50%. We're already unblockable. I don't really want to push into special two, but the AI decides that they're not going to throw special one right away. Heck, he's not even going to throw special two right away. It's going to take a lot of dancing here to finally get the pies out. And there we go. So now we're sitting kind of pretty. We got two debuffs. Take advantage of the fact that he's not unblockable yet to do a parry heavy so that we don't have any debuffs. And now we're unblockable. And then he finally starts throwing his special ones right away. So here they come. We're going to heavy retaliate. This will cause us to go unblockable, but also remove our debuffs so that he's not unblockable. And then it's just finishing out the fight here with bleeds. And down goes spam. So... Very easy, easy counter to spam. Move on to a very normal assignment, and that's Warlock here against Havoc. Now, Havoc is a prowess power champ. He is actually one of the bigger pains in the butt, depending on where he is, because he's one of the few prowess power options that can gain prowess without being touched. So if you heard me complain about five nodes and Havoc, um, this would technically be why. So I was kind of nervous about this. That's why I, I invuln instead of special one and try to end the fight quickly, um, which is going to be, in my opinion, pretty common this season if you're worried about the matchup against a prowess power champ. Now, luckily, on top of the fact that we power drain his non-contact hit, um, Warlock is also an armor burn champ. Uh, so it means that while we have our armor up here, every hit is going to strip him of power just a little bit, enough to remove that plasma buildup. So it is, on this node, very unlikely that he actually gets through heavy attacks and special attacks and ends up with extra prowess. Now there he did. Um, and the reason that's an issue outside of this matchup is that that's free power gain without being touched. So after he throws a special one and I have to wait that out, if the prowess power gain was insane like it was, he would have been immediately to special two, would have thrown that, would have gained more prowess, would have gotten more power, and then I would have gotten special three without ever touching him between special attacks. So um, definitely one of the problem champs. Not so much on this node. Um, I would say the real worry here is maybe getting armor broken and then detonating to death um, but you can see here just sticking to three hit combos baiting out attacks baiting out heavies and just constantly power draining him here and there you get good control of the fight with warlock so moving on to the fight i was very worried about i do not like taking scorpion um with a champ that doesn't a have an easy counter to evade and not or and b um, isn't poison immune. So we're taking this with Fury. Fury is pretty OP. Um, mine's only rank three, low sig. Um, but yeah, I just, I went into this fight knowing that it had mighty charge. And I think these first few earlier stuns made me think, oh yeah, we can stun. And then there, <laughs> my mighty charge kicked in and I failed. Um, and then we're probably going to do it again. So we end up with some poisons on us from taking attacks, mediums specifically to the face. Um, and then there's an evade, so another poison. So this is not going well. Uh, we don't have enough charges. Now I have some poisons on me. I'm going to start losing health, trying to spam special ones, which again is the reason I don't like using a non-poison immune. And then there we forget about mighty charge. So this went south. We are already... All right, we already lost our life model decoy. Scorp has a ton of health left. I know that he just evaded. He just threw a special one. That's more poisons. Um, so I know I need to get an intercept here. He doesn't let me get it there. I get it right here. And here we just go to Nuketown. We've got double furies. We are just wailing on him, hoping that we can KO him before that fury ends. And boom. There's the, uh, the OP-ness that is Nick Fury. So... Very scary fight. 
Um, our battle group ended up losing to theirs. We died once to their donut. Uh, and we actually ended up losing this war seven to eight. So pretty bad war for us. Um, pretty bad war for four Loki too. Uh, death count was pretty high, at least compared to previous wars and previous seasons. But it's kind of early, new global. Everyone's getting used to it. Everyone's kind of trying to figure out what they can get away with when they use non-tactic def- uh, non-tactic attacker attackers against the current defense tactic. So, uh, hey, uh, if there was anyone I was going to be fine losing to, it's going to be our friends at Four Loki. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a give it a subscribe, give it a like, and I will catch you guys at the next war.